And just like that, folks, we're back. Make it nice here once again with you. Happy Friday. And let's get into some skinless and boneless sardine. Wait. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Yeah, I'm doing the skinless boneless. The other ones? You mean these? Not these either. What the heck? No. The go. Really? All right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my mistake. We aren't doing skinless and boneless tonight. We're going to be doing Goya Premium Sardines. And Aceite Picante. Product of España. Check these out, folks. Check these out. I've been eyeing these for a hot minute. At first, they weren't stocking these very much during the pandemic era. These things were just gone off the shelf. But now you can find them all the time, and they actually have more varieties of seafood as well. So these are Goya Premium Sardines in spicy oil, and in the ingredients, let's see if we can find them. Wild caught, packed by hand, gluten-free, no additives, no flavors, lots of omegas, and let's see, finally, ingredients. Sardines, sunflower seed oil, carrot, natural chili flavoring, and salt. And boy, oh boy, folks, ooh. My can, oh wait, I was going to say, I think my can has seen better days, but it looks good. It looks good, folks. And without much more delay, and past my cheesy intro. Ooh. Let's get into these jeans, shall we? Ooh, big pungent aroma coming at me. Big pungent aroma coming at me. And I know I like the little plate. I like this little wooden plate. It was basically, it was mainly for aesthetics. We're going with the paper plate, folks. You already know. Paper plate. Don't make a mess. Don't do dishes after. <laughs> wow, the smell coming out of these is really strong. And you can see the braid kind of packed in there hard. But the smell coming off of this is strong, strong dini. Let me bring it up, folks. Let me bring it up. A very pleasant aroma. It almost reminds me of my favorite gumbo. <laughs> I decided to go with chopsticks. This might be a bad idea, but... Ooh! Oh, this might be way too much focus action. Bear with, folks. <laughs> okay, we're back to normal. Either way, these jeans are packed in here so tight I can hardly get one out. There we go, there we go. Look at the chonker of that boy, and he's squared up. He's squared on both sides. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Let's put that down. Let's put that down, folks. And let's go for this big bad boy over here in the corner. Oof, look at that pretty Dean right there. Scales don't care. Oh, a little out of shot, my bad. Scales don't care. Look at that. And look at that square edge, you know. That's kind of neat. I feel like this is the first time I'm seeing some Dean's. So squared up as I met as I said that first time. Ooh, and is this a big a whole big dean right here? Or two? Hard to tell. That's one huge dean, folks. And I'm sorry I'm touching the can. I just really want to get to the bottom of this tin. A little bit of oil action on there. Why not? Why not? And we're gonna put the can aside, you know. We're gonna put the ugly can aside. I hope I don't drip all over the counter. Oop. There we go. Got the lid facing down. First finger lick of the taste. <laughs> Dean flavor, Dean flavor, Dean flavor. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy so far. Slightly gutted. Very big. Meaty. Oily. That finger lick was kind of strong, strong scent. You get a nice close up of that. That looks like very good fish. Let's take a bite and see if it, see if, uh, yeah, let's take a bite. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. I've done it to myself again. Oh gosh. I don't know if I just talked myself dry in these intros, but my goodness. 
this dean i'm sorry for the gulping sounds and stuff these deans was that a fin or tail fin these deans <laughs> if i can get the dang thought out finally maybe i'm just taking way too huge of a bite but man that was a real it just dried up like dry in my mouth you know and you know how that happens with fish sometimes big bite I don't think that can be helped. These fish are real big, real meaty. You can see that. These things are huge. The flavor is very nice. Very pleasant. Lightly salted. Oily. Hint of fish. Scales undetectable. Uh, guys, so we're back. Our camera... <laughs> Our camera messed up the rest of the footage, but going from the condition of this plate, uh, you might have you might have just been spared there, folks. You know these jeans were really good. The flavor was on point. Good dean flavor, good salt, uh, lots of fish, big deany boys. The one thing I will have to say, folks, is these things being so big and so chonker, they did have more scales present. Um, I think like two of them had a noticeable amount of row inside, which you can almost see on my last footage before it cut out. And the row, I believe, it's almost like a livery kind of consistency. It's so dry when you're eating it just like out of the can like that. You really could use from some Captain Louisiana sauce. <laughs> you know what I mean, folks. So that being said, uh, I don't know. We're probably going to upload another Dini episode soon to make up for that lost footage there. But Goya Premium Sardines and Oil, yeah, they're okay. I'd give them about a, I give them eight out of ten or something like that. Six, seven out of ten. Like a seven, solid seven and a half out of ten. You know, these are okay for the price. Uh, they do remind me of Moroccan Dean, so, uh, your pick between these and some cheaper Moroccan Deans, I'd maybe go with the Moroccan if, if price was a matter, you know. Um, these are in olive oil, that being said, so yeah, very good, very good. Cheers, and have a good day, guys. Bye.